Hi everyone, this is Bella of Ola Beauty. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you are an old subscriber, thank you for coming back to my channel. And if you are new, thank you for clicking on this video to watch. I'm sure it will be worth your time. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel so you get to see all of the videos i'll be uploading up here and um this is a forum for us to learn and online and also just um to get ourselves in the group of makeup so i hope you enjoyed this um tutorial it's all about a bridal transformation a traditional transformation making a black girl Fina, for a bride to become a bride like you know how it is now when it comes to traditional look you have to give it all the spice that it needs so for this look we went all the way from lagos city to Edo city in nigeria we went to benin to pick one of the girls and then um, glamour hop for the proper edo bride outfit like a proper edo bride so um i hope you enjoy the process and you know as a makeup artist you should be versatile like you should not um, restrict yourself to only a particular type of makeup you should be able, especially when you're in nigeria you know we have different tribes we have um different ashwebi and all of those things so we have um especially when it comes to brides we have you know most brides tend to like go with their traditional outfits so as a bridal makeup artist you should be able to know a makeup thing that goes with every outfit like when you have a bride you should be able to do makeup that matches with the outfit not something too much but something moderate something calm something that um, suits a bride and would definitely go with the same and um, a tradition, a outfit and everything in total like you you know you, you, you if, if you're in Nigeria makeup artist you can't even slack off in that like because we have so many people that come to you there are so many brides from different tribes you have people actually be people that come to you oh i want my makeup done and, and, and all that and you know that you definitely have to do something that goes with your outfit not really like in terms of color like maybe when the person is wearing green you have to do a green eyeshadow no 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 that is not what i'm talking about i'm talking about doing a very suitable makeup that also um that is befitting to the outfit of the person of your client especially when it is a bride you just have to do a makeup that is befitting so i'll leave you to um concentrate and enjoy this um the processes i'll be back in between the tutorial So I'm actually done with the skin prep with the using toner, serum, moisturizer, primer, and um, setting spray to lock all the skin prep products in. And um, moving on to foundation now. So remember, blending is key. Like you just have to blend. Like blending is one of the secrets to a good makeup so you cannot even mess up your blending or skip it blending is not something you have to jeopardize with like it's not something that is negotiable it's something that has to be done like when you want that flawless 
skin light look blending is a way to start that like it's not something that can be done with magic at the end of your application it's something you have to do right from the first product you are applying on the face you have to make sure that you are blending very well like so sometimes blending is what takes time in makeup it's not as if applying those products are hard but you know the process of applying blending and um, making sure that everything is well absorbed to the skin is what takes time in makeup and that is one of the reasons it is called makeup application like you have to apply it and blending is one of is a key word in the application so you can't even mess that up so i have been getting messages like um what product did you use can you tell me what's this what's that all the products are mostly listed in the description box so please if you watch any of my videos kindly go to um, the description box to check out the list of all the products the list of all the products are mostly um, there like I write them out and um, I post it along with the video so I hope that should be an answer to most people that ask me um, I keep asking what particular product do I use what's that what's that what's that so please just check product details in the description box and So that's um, still blending the concealer in. The concealer uses um, Debbie Lusta, the two shades. And moving on to contour with this um, Evo foundation and um, a blush from Fiora. We're blending that in. And then I went back to apply um, the Debbie Luster Concealer in O1 just to give um, under the eyes some lighter effects.
And then I move on to blend the concealer in and um, set right away. I have um, a tutorial which um, I stated the difference between setting and baking. I hope you've seen it. Moving on to apply powder on every part of the face and snatching the nose. You have to snatch the nose, baby. Like you cannot, you just have to give the nose an illusion of um, a longer and smaller nose, and that is what is called contouring. That is nose contouring. Nose contouring is just giving the nose a longer and a smaller look it's not as if you've actually done a surgery to reduce that but when you control the nose that is what we appear to people the nose of the person will be looking longer and um, smaller and that is why you you don't you minimize contour on a smaller nose because you don't want it to be looking smaller and um, looking disfigured on on the whole face you just when the nose is in moderate size or bigger nose depends on how big the nose is the bigger the nose the um the more or the darker shade of powder or um foundation you will use in contouring but when the nose is of moderate size you just want to go with um maybe a shade or two shade lighter two shade darker i mean than the uh, powder color and when this nose is smaller you just really want to leave it like that or you just only want to um contour right from the brows and um end it where the eyes are meeting that is the nose bridge over there you want to leave your contouring like if you are using two shades darker you want to leave it right there and um if you are using so and you want to do the rest using the found the powder shade you don't want to go in contouring the nose with a deeper color when the nose is um small you just want to leave it at that same size so it will not be looking disfigured to the whole face but when it is a moderate size or it is bigger you really just want to no no even when it's bigger you just want to like contour moderately because if you go overboard to use deeper colors it will it will not be looking nice on the nose it will just be as if you've come to stamp a dark color right there on the nose area and um it will just it's it's just going to like give your whole makeup a kind of um unsatisfactory look like that because that place they when you when you go deep with um when you go into nose contour with two a, like three or four shades or more darker than the actual foundation or powder color correcting it is always very very tough even while you correct it when you are working by the time you put in your setting spray and fixing spray you will see that the actual color in which you've used initially it's going to pop up so big nose small nose moderate nose you just want to still um contour using a shade or two shades darker or the maximum i go is three shades darker and you limit that to the brows area down to the nose bridge you don't bring it all the way down making your making the nose look weird it's just going to be weird looking the whole makeup will look weird especially the nose area when the shade of contour is too dark so i hope you are enjoying my tutorial and my pep talk um what i usually do is on each video i upload i just pick a particular topic to um talk about to shed more lights on because of time it's you know it's not when we, makeup is a very wild um makeup is wild like makeup is not something that you can just explain in minutes so that is why for each tutorial i just pick a particular topic and um talk about it and i believe we'll learn and online through that you know having to talk about everything 
could be in one video is not uh, is, is something that is possible but it's just going to be rushed like you have a 20 minute video and you want to talk about makeup right from skin to um right from the skin um prep down to when you are doing your finishing touches you know it's not something that you can just do in a 30 or 20 minute video so that is why i usually just pick a topic to actually talk about or maybe talk about two or more or less but not too much so that we can really get some valuable points so right now i'm using um powder as eyeshadow because i really want that brownish effect you know when most eyeshadow palettes i've noticed I don't know if it's me you know there are some things that work for other people but doesn't work for you in particular so what i do is i concentrate on what what works for me do you understand i i, I sometimes i don't go with um other people i just focus on myself and um do what works for me because what when you get what works for you that is when you can really um learn and that is when you can improving your craft do you understand so i noticed that in most eyeshadow palettes when you use some brownish eyeshadow color by the time it comes on the highs it might just change to something like a um light purple or it will be giving you that whinish or purple effect but when i when i really really want that brownish effect i use my powder palette powder palette is not going to change to any other shade it's just going to give you that exact brownish effect that you want and um that is what you get so i want that golden to brownish um eyeshadow look so that is why i use my um um powder for transitioning and also for contour i used a lighter shade to do the transition and i went in with the darker shade on the same powder palette to contour then went in with a good eyeshadow
now I'm already rounding up with the makeup by using mascara lip gloss on now just look at that makeup like look at the skin from the skin to the eyes to the contour to the highlight to the lips like everything is just so yummy like looking flawless all blended in no ash lines in any corner like the makeup is not separated like oh this is where the blush is this is where the contour is this is where the highlight is this is where this is this you know everything is just looking all together see it now just look at this beautiful traditional edo bright like this is so nice it's not because i'm the one that did the makeup oh, but come on like if you actually stay tuned to watch this tutorial to this point you are my g thank you for tuning to my channel thank you for watching my tutorial i hope to see you in my next video and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't subscribe yes you click that subscribe button right now and turn on your notifications so you won't miss out on any of my videos see you next time bye